Honestly, I never thought I would see something like this. If you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know that I spent the entire COVID-19 lockdown on the island of Socotra, Yemen, having arrived there just before the pandemic was declared. And while life looked like this for the most part, after 80 days I decided to leave and ended up spending 14 days on a cargo ship. You can watch that vlog on my channel. After getting a coronavirus test which came back negative and a visa to enter the UAE, I left the ship and had to head immediately to the airport without being able to enter the actual city of Abu Dhabi. Here is my experience of flying home during the pandemic. I am not recommending that you travel internationally these days. This video only documents my journey back home. Well, here we are, Abu Dhabi Airport, departures Terminal 3. This is where I leave the United Arab Emirates and this is where I leave the Middle East, head back home. Keep in mind, I spent the last few months a long way away from glass buildings and automatic doors, so being thrown into this ultra-modern world came as a bit of a culture shock. I asked the guys at the shop just over there how busy it is these days at the airport, and they say that the airport is operating at whoop, about 30% capacity only these days. Not many flights, not many people traveling. Signs asking you to socially distance, the obligation to wear gloves, glass divisions on service desks, the airport was clearly doing its best to keep its passengers safe. I've just entered the duty free zone and everything here is sealed off, boarded up, shut down, everything is closed. I mean, I don't think I could ever imagine air travel looking this post-apocalyptic, but that's honestly the only way I can find to actually describe the vibe of this place right now. It's crazy this is crazy please be aware that the coronavirus covid 19 has been declared a pandemic the uae has successfully contained the virus to prevent the spread to the community your friends and family and as a precautionary measure you are at this is the food section. Normally, I would assume it's quite bustling. There's probably lots of delicious things stacked up all over these shelves, but right now it's completely empty. It's all closed. <laughs> it's all closed. There's examples of social distancing measures even at the cafe tables. Right here, this seat is meant to remain empty, but you can use that one and that one. I mean, actually, no, right now you can't use any of them because everything is shut. You know, I'm just not used to seeing airports like this. Usually there are these bustling, super busy, loud places with tons of people in them. Now, all empty. Actually, a couple of shops are open. Just the most basic, rudimentary, duty-free with like alcohol, perfume and sweets and a couple of cafes. That's it, and <laughs> nothing else. All the washrooms are completely empty. No queuing. It looks like today this terminal is only operating six flights and only to European destinations. Honestly, I never thought I would see something like this. I mean, you go to airports and they're usually these super crazy chaotic places and they give you a pretty good understanding of the world which places are connected where are people traveling to what's going on but right now everything is closed here nobody is traveling for obvious reasons nobody should be traveling but being here in the middle of what is normally a, a social hub a, a travel hub and seeing nobody and nothing nothing is moving the mood is completely still it feels uh, like something I've never experienced. I'm not sure if I like it. <laughs> no, I definitely don't like it. As a professional traveler, I definitely don't like it, but these are the times. These are the times. Okay, time to go. I think my flight is open. <laughs> Wow, there it is, Frankfurt, Germany, 7.50 a.m. And I can't believe that in seven hours, in seven hours from now, I'll be back home. 
By the way, I've been learning Arabic and I can tell you that this definitely says Furt. <laughs> Alright guys, this is it. Boarding the flight to Germany, going back home officially. Finally after three months of <laughs> being able to avoid this world and disconnect. Alright, let's do it. Alright, ready to board. It looks like there are not that many passengers on this flight, so I'm really curious to see what the plane setup looks like. You get social distancing even in the queues. The plane was almost completely empty with maybe 10% of all seats taken. Here's the thing about flying these days. The middle row remains free. People can only sit in the aisle seat or in the window seat. That's it, social distancing. I'm not sure if I simply got lucky with this flight, because it's hard to imagine that's what flying will look like going forward. So apparently these days, instead of a toothbrush and a pair of socks, you get this. This. <laughs> you get a mask, and you get gloves, Ooh. and you get sanitizer. This word seems to be the new catchphrase in aviation. Sanitized. Order. This is scheduled uh, flight EY7 to Frankfurt this morning. Uh, flight time we expect today is five hours fifty. See, I had my little cleaning session, but it turns out I should have just left it to the pros. Clean and disinfectant. It's approved by the Department of Health and is 99.99% effective on all bacteria germs and viruses. This includes COVID-19. And all of a sudden, we were off. I watched Abu Dhabi disappear beneath us, watched the airport from above, most of it empty, the fleet grounded, a ghost town, really. The famous Formula One race course quiet, the roads almost completely empty, only the nature unchanged. Oh yeah, they did serve us food, but I forgot to film it, so here's a few clips of cute animals eating stuff. All right, you get the gist. We flew super close to Mount Ararat in Turkey, and the rest of the flight was really no different than usual, except that I had to wear a mask the entire time and had a lot of space to myself. I guess one more thing was different, though. The times we live in are tough and kind of unpredictable. I got to spend the last few months in a kind of blissful bubble away from the chaos and all the fear. But I was now on my way right into the heart of the pandemic in Europe. You can probably imagine I had mixed feelings. Frankfurt, one of the busiest airports in Europe, felt completely deserted. Okay, welcome to Frankfurt. Officially back in Europe after six months in the midst of an ongoing pandemic. Right? This is Rob, by the way. Yeah, hello. <laughs> uh, let's see what life is like from now on. But I believe it will be quite different from what you guys are used to seeing on my feeds over the last few months. And so here I am, back home. <laughs> hello, hello, you English. Wapa, 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 tak wapa, wapa, dobrze, dobrze, tak powoli, 